in the height of Fallout 76's launch and the Spyro trilogy. Before this gaming news segment starts, I thought I would share my own Fallout gear. Okay? Yeah, that's what I thought. But, anyways, on a serious note, we are here to talk about that and a couple of other topics. But, let's just start with the ones we know first. Anyways, I want to welcome you back to another YouTube video, you beautiful hosers. And today is gaming news. And the first story is Fallout 76. Fallout 76 apparently uh, is still finding a lot of glitches post-beta, which is kind of expected. A lot of people are reporting that it's a glitchy mess. They hate it. It's not overwhelmingly sitting well with anyone. Eh. The only thing I can say is it's like Skyrim Online. What did you expect? But on that other note, the base building seems to be a little clanky for some people. Uh, a lot of people aren't understanding how to do it either because they haven't played Fallout 4, which this game is more meant for playing with friends so that you can have people online to play with. And of course, there's always going to be that one guy that ruins it for everybody, whether it's dropping a nuke on you to just hunting you down and murdering you as soon as he hits level 5. Because everybody's in passive mode until they hit level 5. But... The other thing I want to note about this is it does tie into Spyro because the Spyro Trilogy just re-released. And by re-released, I mean this is the remaster. It's releasing all three games over again. And it's about $54 Canadian. I think it's $30 American. I'm probably wrong. But anyways, it has sold many more copies than Fallout 76. And what can I say? What do you expect? A $60 game versus a game that is a lot cheaper than that that your kid can play. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. There we go. But the other part of that is it has sold way more physical copies than Fallout 76. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean the same for them in the digital world but I'd assume that would be more Fallout's domain in the digital world because Fallout is a pretty much actually it's not pretty much it is a online only game where you have to connect to Bethesda servers so it's kind of expected that a lot of people would rather download it than buy a physical disc which I can't really says I blame them but Hey, that's just one man's opinion. And the third story is uh, the follow-up from BlizzCon. Now, aside from, do you guys all have phones? Don't you have phones? Is this an out-of-season April Fool's joke? Aside from that happening at BlizzCon, not necessarily in that order, but... Uh, they've kind of sort of announced that every game they've done thus far is now getting a mobile game and that's not setting well with a whole lot of people. A lot of people wanted Diablo 4 but apparently they would rather make a mobile game where most people's abnormal thumbs take up over half of the screen. And I'm completely exaggerating on that one but the news literally is is that almost everything that they've done is going mobile now. Now, as far as Overwatch goes, it's probably going to turn into a car game, sort of like Hearthstone. That's the way I'm thinking about it, because Overwatch, if they were to port that over to the mobile, I don't think it would exactly work the way they want it to. But, who knows, power of technology is advancing, and it's overwhelming possibility and last but certainly not least we have Red Dead Redemption 2 now if you're unaware about this game it is Cowboys Bang Bang it's 
one of the first cowboy games that we've seen in a long time that was actually decent. I'm not looking at gun. That game is a masterpiece. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, aside from that, uh, apparently it's been claimed that it's not running fully at 4K, which was promised 4K HDR, but apparently it's not fully running that. Whether it is now, I'm not entirely sure. But as I read the original article that was posted, it's not truly running at it. Um, the other thing is, is there's a few odd glitches. I'm actually going to post a video on Wednesday, I believe, of a glitch that I found in the game. Um, it's a small old glitch, but I found it funny <laughs> afterwards. But overall, it's a great game. It's a great experience. It's still got glitches like 90% of open worlds. And apparently one of the modes that is a cinematic, apparently that has been known to kill almost everybody in the game because your horse just runs in a specific direction. It follows the road and if there's anything in that road, doesn't go around it, tries running through it. And there's all those... I don't know. Also been people reporting that the horses are getting glitched in strange areas, whether it's in rocks, trees, or even in trains. Now, it's kind of strange how you can whistle your horse and it just randomly pop into the train and instantly die. But it's been happening. People are confused. Just like they were with Far Cry 5 and all the glitches that that had at launch. Almost everybody that's played this has been just as confused as I have with some of the glitches. <laughs> They're funny, but at that moment in time, it's like, what am I doing? So, anyways, that's our stories for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, specific little segment that I had for Monday. Anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic 2018. I know this year is almost coming to an end, but if you are having a crappy year, I hope it gets better for you sooner rather than later. Peace out, and I will see you all in the very next live stream tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> yeah.